Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we are at Disney California Adventure to bring you the best rope drop strategy. Right behind me is the rope drop line, so let's get going. A hello from the future. I'm gonna take this moment while we're sitting on Pixar Pal around to let you know that this video did not go according to my plan at all. Uh, we actually had a pretty awful rope drop. That doesn't mean that the video isn't chock full of information though that can help you with your own rope drop strategies. And so I'm still gonna put this video up. Just wanted to let you know that uh, things didn't go the way we wanted them to, but we made the most of today and we're still having loads of fun. We're coming into DCA here this morning and there are a couple of spots that are gonna break off for rope drop. Over off to the right, uh, people are headed to Soren. That's what that crowd right there is waiting for. Uh, straight ahead is the main one. We'll talk about that in just a second. And then over here off to the left, we have the bulk of the people over this way are probably going towards Guardians of the Galaxy. However, like 90% of the rope drop is gonna be over here and it is backed up pretty congested already to where <laughs> the back of the line we're basically at the back of the line the best thing for you to do is going to be to get here bright and early the gates to the park open at 7 30. if you want to be at the front of the rope drop line if you want to hit something like radiator springs races you absolutely must be at the front of the rope drop line there is no if ands or buts about that uh, if you are not at the front of the rope drop line, we got here at about 7.50. This is the line already at 7.50, so 20 minutes have elapsed since they opened the gates. There's no way we can do Radiator Springs Racers, and I'll show you why in just a little bit. And here we go, the shuffle begins. There's some people breaking off going over to Spider-Man that way. Very few people, but a couple did. Now, as we near Cars Land, I want you to pay attention to a pretty special phenomenon over here at DCA that does not happen over at Disneyland. And that is that 90% of this rope drop line is all gonna be breaking off and turning left down to go to Radiator Springs Racers. And I mean, nearly everybody is breaking off and going that way. Take a look at the number of people that are going over to Pixar Pier. Quite a bit fewer. There's still people, obviously, but it is nothing like that massive line of people headed down to Radiator Springs Racers. This is why if you've watched any number of videos on my channel, you frequently hear me say, do not go to Radiator Springs Racers. Do not go to Radiator Springs Racers because you will spend an hour waiting in line for that ride first thing in the morning and you are going to lose the entire golden hour waiting in line. Instead, we're gonna head over to some rides that typically have hour long waits later on in the day, and we're gonna ride them when they're five minute waits walk-ons. It's gonna be able to help us save the most amount of time. Radiator Springs Racers is gonna be busy all day. And I'll have some helpful tips for you on how to ride Radiator Springs Racers if you don't rope drop it a little bit later on in the video. Instead, we're coming over here to Pixar Pier. We're gonna ride Toy Story Midway Mania, the Incredicoaster, and potentially the Pixar pal around here first thing in the morning. More than likely after Incredicoaster though, we'll hop on over to Spider-Man Web Slingers. More than likely what we're gonna do. So we always head to Toy Story Midway Mania first. Can you explain why? We go there because that line tends to get really, really long later on in the afternoon. Whereas Web Slingers, it will hover and it won't be too bad. There's also single rider availability for Web Slingers and Radiator Racers. Whereas Toy Story, I don't think you can do single rider, so it, the line just gets really long for that ride, so we always head back here first. However, this is a potential problem with any rope drop attraction. Toy Story Midway Mania is currently closed. It is not open here, so we're not going to be able to ride it. That means we're going to have to pivot, and we are going to have to go do Incredicoaster right now instead. We'll check Toy Story Midway Mania after that. This happens. Rides sometimes aren't open first thing in the morning. A couple of times last week, Radiator Springs Racers was not open first thing in the morning. And let me tell you, when Radiator Springs Racers is closed at Rope Drop, it throws a major wrench in the park for the day because all these other rides like Toy Story, Web Slingers, and Guardians of the Galaxy, they frequently jump straight to 45 minutes first thing in the morning. There are that many people that go to Radiator Springs Racers that when it's closed, it throws the entire morning off. So instead, we're doing the Incredicoaster. And here we go, a literal walk-on. Roach well, back row, back row. 
Awesome, buddy. Back row. It is 8.15 and I took a look at the app to check the wait times. This is when you can tell exactly what wait times are for rope drop once the lines have, you know, all gotten there and kind of settled. And Web Slingers is at 15 minutes. Guardians of the Galaxy is at 40 minutes. And Radiator Springs Racers already up to a 70 minute wait. And see, that's what I'm talking about. You're gonna be waiting in that 70 minutes, especially if you're back at the back end of the rope drop line, kind of like we were. Um, obviously, there's still some more people behind us, but uh, anyhow, we're gonna head over to Web Slingers because Toy Story Midway Mania is still not open. Hopefully, once Web Slingers is done, Toy Story Midway Mania will be open, then we'll hop over to there. Our goal is to get those main three rides done uh, before nine o'clock because again, all of those rides tend to get 45 to an hour long wait a little bit later on in the day. And I wanna make sure that we can knock them all out while they're five to 15 minute waits. You may be saying, wouldn't it have been smarter to go straight to Spider-Man Web Slingers? Yes, if I had known that Toy Story Midway Mania was gonna be closed. Usually we go over there first to knock off two rides in one go before we hop back over here to do Web Slingers. So a uh, little bit of a strategy alteration there if you know in advance that Toy Story is gonna be closed. All right, here we go. Web Slingers. This looks a little bit longer than 15 minutes. But we'll see, we'll start a timer and we will see. While we were waiting in line here for Spider-Man, we were checking the wait times again to see if Toy Story had reopened. And we noticed that Radiator Springs Racers was closed, which is probably why this line got massively busy before we get here. Remember that scenario I just talked about? Radiator is closed. Now it's dispersing to the other parts of the park. So for whatever reason this morning, there's a lot closed this morning. Toy Story is closed. Goofy Sky School is closed. Luigi's is closed. Mater's Junkyard Camry is closed. And Radiator Racers is closed. And Credicoaster is up to a 20 minute wait now too. Again, because Radiator's closed, crowds are dispersing. So they just announced that this ride is now up to a 45 minute wait. So hopefully for us, it really is only 25 minutes, but everyone decided to come over here now that Radiators is closed. I'm glad we jumped in line yeah. when we did. Um, Toy Story Midway Mania just opened up. So we'll have to see by the time we get off of this what that ride's like, but that line might jump up a little bit too. Bottom line, ride closures throw a huge kink in plans. We are headed into the pre-show at 19 minutes, and I usually track the wait times to the pre-show because I feel like this is part of the attraction to me. Oh, our project lead, the brilliant, oh, Peter Parker. Hey, what's up? I'm Peter Parker, and here at Web, we get access to some pretty awesome tech. No se sabe qué harán los bots a continuación, así que manténgase seguro. I think the boys are ready to go. <laughs> I am absolutely terrible at this game. This was me. James beat me, and Amy's score went away, but Amy had the highest score, 100,000 points more than me. Look at that. And this is me. And this is Amy. I don't get it. I beat you. I beat you. With Radiator Springs Racers still closed, Toy Story Midway Mania is now up to a 30-minute wait. Soren is at a 20-minute wait, which isn't too bad. So we're gonna go up to Soren and do that right now. Uh, we really wanted to get Toy Story Midway Mania done before uh, the, the lines got too long. Uh, we're gonna make the most of it though. And let's go do Soren for right now and then we'll see what we do after that. Here we go, Soren. Standby says it's a 20 minute wait. So once again, we're gonna hit the timer and see if that's actually accurate. I feel like, I feel like this is way longer than 20. So with Radiator Racers still closed, we're wondering if they've maybe cleared out the line in that ride. And when that happens, if only if they evacuate the line, they give you monorail. And they give you what's called a multi-experience redemption pass. That allows you to go use that lightning lane on either that ride later that day, or sometimes some of the other rides. Any other attraction. Any of the other rides in the park. So it's possible if that happened this morning with that down, that's why now all these other lines are getting a lot longer. Well, you didn't mention that we noticed a yeah, ton of like, people so popping into Soren right now. We're in now. line for Soren right now, and we suddenly noticed this big, huge group of people who came over and got into the lightning lane. Like, I don't know if they would have booked that one already or if they're just all using multi And that made the standby go from 20 minutes to 40 25. minutes now. Yeah. Now it's 40 minutes here. The right lane here is the, the, that's this one right here, is the uh, lightning lane. And it's all the way back here, which means that they prioritize that over us. 
Uh, so the standby line here hardly moves when that's the case. So unfortunately, uh, we're just not having that great of a morning here. So we just got in the line here, 38 minutes, and we're at this part. So probably still another four minutes to go. A little over 40, unfortunately. Oh, well, it's 40 minute wait, but it's the California version. So it's worth it for us. I know some people like the rural version better, but we might prefer the California version. Well, it is 10 o'clock now and any low wait times are pretty much completely over. Generally, we consider the best time to ride between eight and nine and then sometimes that extends to 10 o'clock as well. Uh, we've only ridden three rides. My plan was to get, and usually what we do when we come here, because we do this all the time, this is uh, not a new thing for us, uh, road cropping DCA here. And usually I can get Toy Story, Soren, and Web Slingers all done within the first 40 minutes that the park is open. Generally speaking, that's what we have routinely done in the past. Today's a little different. It's the day after Easter. It's the tail end of spring break. Uh, my kids are still off of school. And so it's, it is a little bit busier here today, but then the ride closures compounded things and made things a little bit worse for us. Um, things just didn't go according to plan, but I hope that you still found this video valuable. Uh, there's a few more things that I wanna share with you in this video, so it's not quite over yet, um, but the the morning is, is officially over at this point. Uh, crowds are here and uh, we're not gonna be able to get any more like amazing wait times. We were talking about it when we were in line for Soren because we had so long that the park didn't used to even open until 9 and sometimes 10 a.m. back in previous times. Now we've noticed that the park is continually opening and opening at 8. However, we have noticed that some of these rides are up, all up and running. But we speculate that maybe Disney would rather have people in the park by 8 a.m. even if you know, some of those rides are having issues first thing in the morning. You can at least ride something. You can at least ride half the rides yeah. instead of having to wait, you know, and not even get into the park until 9 a.m. Yeah. So we have noticed that. This is mostly a talking video and I apologize. There's not a lot of things that I can put on this screen here to, to make things interesting. Um, but I did want to tell you about Radiator Springs Racers. Uh, I, I said, you know, if you don't rope drop it, what do you do? How do you ride it? Right now it's a 75 minute wait and it's not going to get any better throughout the day. So it did reopen, thankfully, which has actually impacted wait times throughout the park a little bit. I did notice that uh, some of the rides had dropped like um, Incredicoaster was down to a 15 minute wait. Toy Story Midway Mania dropped down to a 35 minute wait. Those sorts of things from what they were when Radiators was closed. So that's, that's good news. But it still begs the question, how do you ride Radiator? There's two ways that you can do that without having to wait in the crazy long 75 minute line. You can get a single rider and everybody in your party needs to be older than seven years old in order to use this. But it is my preferred method to ride the ride. Uh, we'll just take our party, we'll hop in line, and yeah, we're all gonna get split up. Um, sometimes you'll be in the same car, somebody will be in the front row, somebody will be in the back row of the same car, but you, you won't be sitting next to each other on the ride. That's the fastest way to ride the ride, even over lightning lane. And then of course you can also do the individual lightning lane. You have to pay for that. It's not part of the Genie Plus program. You do have to pay a la carte for it, and you don't have to buy Genie Plus in order to buy the a la carte for that. You know, there's a little bit of a plus, a little bit of a minus there, but those are two ways that you can ride Radiator Springs Racers without having to wait the 75 minute wait. Additionally, as I mentioned earlier on in this video, if you show up at the front of Rope Drop, so like you are ready at the gates, ready to get scanned in at 7.30, you're at the front of that line at 7.30, means you probably showed up here in the park in the Esplanade area around 7 a.m. You waited until those gates opened and then you were at the front of the rope drop line. Then you're going to, you know, be able to get on Radiator Springs and maybe a 10 minute wait. But what did you do? You spent an hour in the Esplanade. So there's your hour waiting for the ride anyway. I guess you just have to determine whether you want to spend the, the hour waiting outside the park or the hour in the line 
or just do something else. Another option to bypass the line for that is to stay in one of those three Disneyland hotels because then you could qualify for early entry and get into the park a half an hour before it officially opens. However, the only downside with that one is, is that the on-property hotels here are really expensive compared to the Good Neighbor hotels. And surprise, surprise, it's a little later on in the day now. <laughs> Radiator Springs Racers is closed again or still broken or what, I don't know. There's a car stuck on the track. Someone probably got evacuated from the ride. Though not really related to rope dropping, I've seen a lot of questions about like, how do I meet Mater? Right outside at the Cozy Cone Motel here, there's Mater. And after we got our ice cream, McQueen is out here now. Same spot, but now it's McQueen. So we never did get to ride Toy Story Midway Mania today because it was like a 60 minute wait later on. Five, like, 60, I, one point it said 45, but... That was like a bummer. Yeah, oh well. And with that, we're gonna hop over to Disneyland. So I'm just gonna call it an end to this video. I uh, hope you have found some of it helpful. <laughs> I know my rope drop strategy kind of went a little bit awry. We have done it multiple times. If it works out for you to do exactly what we would have done, go to Toy Story Midway Mania, hit in Credit Coaster, then go over to Web Slingers. It usually works pretty well considering if Radiator Springs Racers doesn't close and Toy Story's open whenever you get first thing in the morning. I know that's a lot of ifs, but anyway, hope you found it helpful. Hit the like and subscribe button for more videos. We'll see you again next time.